Good morning. Welcome to Morning Devotions. I'm Sister Bev, filling in for Pastor Sumrall once again on this beautiful Thursday morning. This morning, I want us to get right into the book of Ezra, and we're going to be in Ezra chapter 8, and there are such treasures, such beautiful scriptures here in Ezra chapter 8. First of all, starting in verse 28, and I said to these priests, you and these treasures have been set apart as holy to the Lord. This silver and gold is a volunteer, a voluntary offering to the Lord, the God of our ancestors. Guard these treasures well until you present them to the leading priests and the Levites and the leaders of Israel who will weigh them out and so on. And the story in this chapter is the most incredibly detailed accounting of the treasures. Now, first of all, I want you to notice that according to scripture, a voluntary offering is a treasure. The leaders of God's people need to realize that, that when people give a voluntary offering, it's a treasure and it needs to be treated as a treasure. As from your own heart, you need to treat your offering as a treasure that you're bringing to the Lord. Leaders need to treat those offerings as treasures that have been brought to the Lord. And the second thing I want us to see in this story is the pattern of accountability. And this pattern of accountability it goes for offerings, it goes for tasks, anything, that, any goal, anything that God has tasked you to do in your life. There is a pattern that we see here of accountability that is so incredibly detailed. Every single item was first uh, weighed and it was measured and it was recorded in the books and it was done on the on the giving end, like, okay, I'm entrusting it to you. You're going to be bringing it. You're going to be giving it on the other end. On the other end, then it was again weighed. It was measured. So they have a, a numbering. They have the weight. They have the item all specified. And then it was officially recorded. There is an accountability there for the offerings of God. And there is an accountability principle there for whatever task God has asked you to do. What has God asked you to do? What has he given? What has he placed in your hands to do? There's going to be that accountability where you weigh it and you measure it and you record it and you keep track of it. And you say, God, this is what I'm doing with what you have given me. And finally, what I want to get from this chapter is you need to be in a church that gives accountability for your treasures, for your offerings. When you give an offering, there needs to be accountability for that. Are you in a church where you could actually go to the finance department and say, can I see the records for last month, please? You need to be in a church like that because there needs to be this weighing and measuring and recording and being accountable before God and before the people. So what do we want to get today? You want to be in a church that's accountable for the offerings. You want to treat your offerings as a treasure. And you want to be accountable to God for every task that he has placed in your hands.